Hello, welcome again to another great day in Sophia Kamau's kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make green onion crisps. Yes, they are made with onions. They're so great for breakfast. They're so great for any time snack or even for dinner if you don't know what to make. And it is so easy and delicious. So let's see the ingredients. Over here, I have the ingredients I need to do my crepes. So I have one cup of flour I'll, I will use. I will use two tablespoons of canola oil or any cooking oil. I have two to three small green onions. I have one cup of water, a half teaspoon of salt, and a tablespoon of sugar. And I have two eggs. To start, I will crack my eggs one at a time. When you make sure it is good, you add to the bowl. It's good, I add to the bowl. And these eggs are at room temperature. Then I will add my two uh, tablespoon of oil. I'll add the tablespoon of sugar, half teaspoon of salt, I will add the water. Next, I blend all the ingredients I added together. Once everything is blended, now I add my flour and blend thoroughly. I will scrape the edges to make sure everything is uh, blended well. And then blend again. That easy. The last thing I will do, I will just add my green onions in and just mix them. Otherwise, if you blend with this, they're all gonna stick on this uh, part of the, all these parts that will be held over there. So this one I just mix in. Over at my stove, I have it on very, very low heat. My pan was heating. And then now I will add a dash of oil just to coat the base of my pan. And make sure that uh, when I put my crepe mixture, it does not stick. It's all good now. And I will just use the same cup I use for measuring. If you have a ladle, that will work good and i will add to my to my pan you just add a little according to your size of your pan don't make it too thick just a good size that is good enough and then i will wait for it to dry so within one to one and a half minutes, it's dried on the top. And then you look at the bottom. It's, if it's not a golden brown, you let it uh, continue cooking until you see the edges are brown, then you flip. Some, are, some sides are, some are not. Oh, it looks so beautiful. And then you flip. And see, I had put enough oil to begin with. The oil I just put on the pan is to make it not stick. And now I don't need to add oil and I let it cook for one to one and a half minutes on this side and it's ready, but I'll show you. The crepe is now ready and let's see, see it has those brown spots and it is done. So I can put it on the side. I'll do the second one just in case you can see not much oil. 
my pan is still on low temperature there number two it goes up to number 10 but i'm doing at number two when your pan is already heated you're good to go with the same same uh, low heat so again i will take this and then I will pour my pan is not that big so I'm not emptying the whole of this one cup filling there so I will let this dry and then flip I'll continue and then finish then we move to the final part my crepes are all done it was so easy and fast for the measurements that I had I got six crepes and they are all beautiful you can see that one look at that they are all so beautiful so to dress them up or to make them even more fancy and enjoy them more you put i have uh tomatoes roma tomatoes and uh, cilantro and a little salt already done here so i mixed everything together and you can either do like this and use like a pocket here and put this filling in like that that's one way and then top it with the cheese that's one way you can do like that and go and bite into it another way you can do is just have it like that put your cheese and remember the cheese has salt and you don't have to put too much salt onto this kind of salsa and then you add like this and you make a roll and you make a roll and you enjoy i am telling you this is so delicious and filling i like it i can have it anytime as i said for breakfast for brunch for lunch for even dinner if you want something light i'll give this credit to my friend marie she's the one who invited me for brunch uh, about four years ago and i had this and i've not stopped making it thank you girlfriend i really enjoy this every time i make it now it is your turn go ahead give this a try it is so easy as you have seen it and i have taken you step by step you don't have to add all these extras but it's just one way of eating it you can just have it plain the way it is it is perfect you can have it with a syrup maple syrup or you can have it with whatever your imagination tells you to do remember to like subscribe and share until we see you next time with another great recipe bye